Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak on iOS 16.3 without a computer, guys. This is super crazy. Follow my tutorial. It's the only one you need. All right, guys, so if you are someone that is not owning a computer or something like that, in this video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak on iOS 16.3. This is a completely uh, good method that doesn't require a computer, so none of that. So let's get on with it. So first up, let's go to settings and I'm gonna to prove to you that I'm updated to iOS 16.3. There you go. So there's no doubt about it. So now we're gonna jailbreak our device. And how are we gonna do that? Follow my guide. We're gonna hop on over to this website. Let me just go ahead and type it in. So this is gonna utilize the uncovered jailbreak. So you might've heard of this before because it's been utilized in previous iOS versions. The version we're on is called uncovered.io. So that's the page you go to. You put a zero instead of an O. So once you're here, guys, you will see a lot of information about this jailbreak. It's really cool. And um, what you want to do is just go ahead and press download, and this will download a config profile. So to download that profile, we're going to press allow. And then what that will do is download the profile onto our phone. So now press close, and we're just going to open settings to install it. So you should see profile downloaded message at the top. So just go ahead and press on that, and then all you have to do is go ahead and press install, and then put in your password. So just enter in your phone password, don't get all confused. Then just press install, final one in red, and boom guys, just like that, we have Uncover. So now we're gonna actually jailbreak our device. So let's open up Uncover right here, and I'm going to jailbreak it. So as you can see guys, this is actually working on cover, and you can read all about it. You got all these settings in here. Uh, so anyways, let's actually go ahead and jailbreak. So to do that, all we have to do is go ahead and press the jailbreak button right there. As you can see, it's that simple. And then it's going to maybe confirm. I don't know. No, it just does it. All right. So let's just wait for this to finish here, as you can see. So I'm just going to give it a second. So once it is done, guys, you might see this thing. It says one last step. So it says we require you to support the developers by downloading two sponsored apps. So this is an important final step to trigger the jailbreaking process to begin. So we're just going to go ahead and press continue. So now what it's gonna do guys is load this page that will show you all these apps. These are actually all free from the app store. So you don't have to worry about like anything sketchy like that. So all we have to do is download two of these apps and complete the instructions. So this will just help the developers keep their server online and also trigger the jailbreak to start. There could be jailbreak code in these apps. I haven't done a ton of research, but I'm gonna download two of the apps here and I'm just gonna run them and complete the instructions. And then we should be all set so let's go and do it so um i don't know you can pick anyone you want you might even see different apps but i'm going to start off with lords mobile so it says down install run for 30 seconds that's piece of cake so it's going to take me to the app store i'm going to download the app so now we're just going to wait for it to download this shouldn't take that long but while it's downloading i'm going to go back on the list and get one more so i'm going to go for frost and flame king avalon doesn't matter what game you do doesn't matter what app you do you just want to run it and complete the instructions and that's the good the good sauce so let's just wait for these to download here as you can see so i'm just going to give it a second for them to go ahead and finish all right so it looks like the lord's mobile is done guys so i'm going to go ahead and run it right here and this is just some basic like kingdom building game whatever so yeah all you gotta do is run the game run the app whatever so for those of you that are like, oh, I never played this before, that's okay, guys. You just have to run it. And like, if it needs to download something, you could let it do that. The truth is you don't have to keep these after you're done. So you don't have to worry if you have enough space or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this right here, as you can see. Um, so for instance, this game is downloading something. So I'm just letting it download. I don't really care. Um, so I'm just going to do this right here, as you guys can see. So let's just finish up. And we should be done in a second. So let's just wait for this process to finish. And now the actual game is loading. So that's cool, but I don't really want to play it for that long. But um, obviously, if your app has a more detailed set of instructions, like reaching a certain level in the game, make sure you do that because it will guarantee that your device is jailbroken. So now let's do the other app, which is the Frost and Flame. It is not done downloading, but we will speed up the download process. So you guys don't have to sit there and watch me play this game. So it is almost done. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I'm just going to run this for a little bit, you know, pressing around with the buttons. Um, same deal as the other app, basically. It's probably going to ask me to download something. So, yeah, guys, um, I'm just running this right here, as you can see. And then once you go to the home screen, City should pop up. So let's just run this for a little bit more, as you guys can see. All right. So, yes, yeah, this is super cool, guys. I can't even believe it actually works. So let's just finish up. 
and I think I've spent more than enough time on this app um, so I'm just playing through it yeah we're done so let's go ahead and see if Cydia is on our device and uh, what's going to happen so let's find out and uh, what's gonna happen all right I don't know I don't see it oh my gosh there we go gets me every time there you go guys now our device is jailbroken just like that and um, I like to prove it to you guys by downing themes and tweaks. But as you can see, this is fully working Cydia. So let's go ahead and search for something just so I can show you guys. This is actually operational. So um, there's one um, like animation thing called Cylinder and it is super crazy. What it does is like you swipe and it's really cool. So I'm gonna download it just to show you guys that it is working. So let's wait for this phone to restart right here. And now when you open up your phone, guys, look at this animation. It is crazy. This is only one of the things you can do with a jailbroken phone. Look at that. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it worked, but um, it might have worked. Um, anyways, the settings can be found in here. Maybe I have to turn it on. I don't know. Um, yeah, it says, oh, it wasn't enabled. Oh, well, anyway, this is a cool theme or whatever, because it has a lot of customization options in here. But anyways, now when I swipe, look at that. So try this out for yourself and get tons of crazy jailbreak tweaks. If this didn't work for you guys, drop in the comments. I'm going to fix the issue for you guys, whatever. We need to communicate in DMs or something. That's cool. So, um, yeah, this is pretty insane, guys. Try it out. Let people know about the method. Jailbreaking in iOS 16.3 without a computer is possible. Subscribe to my channel. See you later and peace out.